So I accidentally uh, recorded this without some audio, um, so I need to uh, reiterate what I was doing before. Um, in this video, basically, I'm doing two things. I'm doing uh, illumination map, and I am doing a uh, opacity map, and this is basically for the two lamps. So the illumination map, the first thing I did was I selected the lights here so if you just hit control on these lights and then scroll down and hit control and shift on these lights all right and then what i did was i filled it with a mid-tone uh like a light gray and with that light gray um i just took a soft white uh soft brush here and just basically painted in uh kind of a white tone here and so that's all I did on this and then I exported this out and saved as a JPEG and that was my first map my second map was I'm just going to select and deselect was two things or th selecting three things uh, the chain the first chain so here the second chain here and the initial colors here now I went through and I actually cleaned up some of the line work a little bit um, because you can see there's a little bit of a grayscale here. Um, so then all I did was filled what I want transparent as black, and which is mainly over here, and filled everything else white. Now I don't need to have all of this separated like this. I can simply take this and uh, basically move it and and. Um, just have this card here as long as this is white and black and everything else is white we're good to go so those are things that i i did and then i exported that um that was it's pretty simple pretty straightforward um and then if you look on my uh, actual 3d here all i did was i went into my materials and i took my map here and these two are what I'm looking for so you're gonna basically open up the uh, material here and then I'm gonna put my illumination map there and that will basically make sure that these render white or, or bright no matter what and then I'm gonna go in here and again same thing add the bitmap and add in the opacity map and that will make sure that the chains are see-through and so that is essentially what I have done. Um, and then I've actually got it on a high quality here. If I can go into performance, um, or not performance, let's do standard, and standard is fine. But with standard, you're going to notice that it looks weird. Um, and that's because the transparency map doesn't read well in standard. Um, it isn't until you add. Um, you know, some realistic maps and, and all some other stuff on there to, to kind of get that going on right. Um, but standard is fine, as I, as I mentioned before. I'm not worried about it. Um, as long as it renders okay, that's what we're worried about uh, because that's, that's all that matters in the end. All right, uh, so that is essentially all I did. And um, I applied those two maps, and that is it. Um, the next one I'm going to go through and we'll look and see about um, doing a repeating texture um, specifically for the rug and we're going to look at it into this uh, tower here and we will go in and maybe see if we can get it working for the, the actual caboose here with the rest of that but I'm not sure it'll work so that is the next thing I'm going to work on. All right, I hope that helps. Hey, I wanted to thank everyone for subscribing to my patron, and if you haven't yet, check it out.